Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to part two of your weekly reading for the week of February 14th. If you haven't watched part one yet, this is part one and it is linked up in the pinned comment down below. But let's just start clarifying through here. Uh, with the flexible card, you have this breathe card. So uh, remember in your first reading, I was saying, I feel it's very important for you to watch your health. I mean, I think that's true for everyone, especially at the beginning of the year. I would just stay healthy. I would make sure you're doing things that stay healthy. Make sure you're not putting things in your body that don't let you stay healthy. All that other good stuff is what I would say there. Uh, with the seven of cups, you have the Ten of Wands. Hmm. Sometimes I think, um, you know, having too many choices to make can be a burden. You know, if you have too many choices to make, obviously, then it can create a lot of burdens in your life. Uh, like I said to all the other water signs, it's a really good week for simplification, making things more simple, trying to break things down, right? Um, but I would also say, if you, um, you know, if there's anything you could do to limit the choices, I feel that would be a good option for you. It just looks like a busy week especially with the multiple sevens here, especially with the sevens you have. It's like there's a lot of decision making. Remember in your first reading, I was saying I was getting like a lot of questions on that seven of cup, the seven of pentacles. And, you know, I just think that there could be a lot going on in your life where you're having to take care of a lot of responsibilities. And again, I think simplifying things would be a good idea for you. With the Seven of Pentacles, you have the Knight of Wands. You have the Knight of Wands twice here. Knight of Wands, it definitely looks like you're making a change. Here's the thing. Seven of Pentacles can represent a change in direction. He's basically looking at those Seven Pentacles, and he could be saying it's not worth it. He could be saying it's not worth it for me to grow these Seven Pentacles. I'm going to go grow something else. I'm going to grow something different than this. And that's the Knight of Wands as well. Sorry, wrong camera. The Knight of Wands, he's like going on an adventure to do something new. And he's also the builder. You know, he's willing to build something new. He's willing to try anything. So I feel like being flexible, you know, tapping into spontaneous energy, allowing spontaneous opportunities into your life would be a really good idea. Any of those like random things, it's kind of hard to describe. It's funny, I said this to, it might have been you um, for last week. Um, I don't remember who it was, but it was somebody where I said, there could be some opportunities where it's like maybe your boss is like, we need someone to go travel here, you know, to like a new location and open a new office. It's like, be that person. You know, I feel that, you know, especially right now, there could be a lot of these random opportunities that spring up in our life. And maybe we kind of like don't want to do them. <laughs> you know, I think there's some resistance here. Seven of Swords, Seven of Cups, like the what ifs, the fears, leaving things behind, like all these things pop, you know, kind of making me crazy, right? Uh, popping up. And I feel like this is true for you, especially. It's like you're the only sign that gets this message, really. But I would take advantage of those random opportunities that come up out of nowhere, especially if you kind of don't want to do it. <laughs> and the reason I'm encouraging you to do this is because, again, I feel like those random opportunities, you're going to just be so happy that you did. Uh, with the King of Wands, you have the Seven of Cups. Again, a lot going on at this time. I would focus on what makes you happy. I would really start building, like I would pick one thing and just start building it. You know, he has good things and bad things in these cups on this card. I would just pick one good thing that you want to focus on with that King of Wands and I would get to building it. I feel like there's a need for you to, I, I'm pretty sure I say this to you every single reading. And uh, again, I think you're the only sign that gets this message. I feel like there's a need to just go straight for something. I think we think like, oh, if I want to make a million dollars, I have to do all this work. I have to do all these extra things. I feel like this is saying, no, just go straight for it. Don't worry about like the fluff. Like I feel like there could be a lot of fluff in your life. And again, I'm pretty sure I've said this to you before, Scorpio. So I would just be careful of that like fluff energy, right? <laughs> Get rid of the fluff. Just go straight for your goal for, or your wish or your dream. And with the purification card, you have the going forward card. I like this. It's like you're, there's a path to a sun um, sunrise in the background. And that purification card, there's a sunflower on it. And sunflowers in the tarot represent the sun. They represent happiness and good things coming in for you. So I feel like you're kind of on this path to excitement and happiness as well. Let's see. With the seven of swords, you have the five of cups. Mm, yeah, see, here's the thing is that the five of cups is disappointments you've experienced in the past. Five of cups is a card of regrets and, you know, sadness, but I feel like maybe you do have regrets, but at the same time, it's like, 
you know, I think you need to realize that really you shouldn't have the regrets until you give up on something. And this is what I mean by this. It's like, you know, I think, you know, trying to be an entrepreneur, for example, you're trying to build a bunch of businesses. There could be regrets in the failures that you've had, but you're not a failure until you give up, right? Until you stop trying to have a successful business. Same thing in love. It's like you might have a lot of regrets in love based off of the people you dated or things that you've done or they've done, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, I think what matters is, again, you haven't failed until you give up. So I really feel that this part of the reading is saying, um, okay, the past is in the past, that going forward card, you're going towards the sun, clearly, and I feel like you need to realize that. Again, you haven't failed until you give up, so don't give up, Scorpio. Uh, with the Page of Wands, you have the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is a card of conviction. It's a card of knowing that you know that you're going to be successful. Uh, this seems to be very important at this time. Um, again, pretty much the collective has been getting these Wands cards quite a bit over the past few weeks. Uh, the Wands cards about being bold, being assertive, really going for something, not asking for permission, just doing, right? And I feel that energy for pretty much everyone that we just need to do the things we want to do. We just have to have conviction. We just have to know that something is successful or will be successful for us. I feel like the Seven of Pentacles is saying, you need to look at everything you've accomplished up until this point. It's like people, I always tell people, I just said it to someone else, that you shouldn't have a plan B. You should only focus on plan A. And people always say, oh, I have to have a plan B. What if I fail? I'm like, well, you're ar then you already have the intention to fail. <laughs> That's why you shouldn't have a plan B. But also, Seven of Pentacles says, no, no, no. You need to look at all the, the preparation that you've done already. So it's like, you know, in love, for example, maybe you've already done a bunch of preparation to have a successful relationship. You've learned from the past relationships. So look at all the things you've learned. Look at all the good and all the bad and kind of like put it all together. Same thing in business and same thing in anything else you're trying to do. It's like you've been prepared. And so now you're ready. Now you're ready for like the real thing. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, you have the Hangman. Could be a Pisces coming in for you uh, if you are looking for love. I feel like you've had a Pisces showing up. But also another card that says you are ready. He has gained enlightenment. He is hanging from the Tree of Wisdom, Tree of Knowledge here on the Hangman. It's like he's gained some wisdom. He knows what he needs to do, but he just needs to uh, get off the pole and he just needs to start working towards whatever it is that he's working towards or whatever it is that he wants. So it's time for you uh, to take action here, Scorpio, for sure. I definitely feel that. Uh, with the Dove card, you have the Owl Spirit. It says, you see clearly now. Uh, literally, every, you know, there you go. Literally everything that we've been talking about. So I feel like you finally see what you need to do. I feel, I feel like you finally see what action uh, you need to take to be successful at this time. So I really like to see that. Uh, with the Magician, you have the uh, Chariot. Chariot is a card of a victory, so there's definitely a victory coming in for you. It's also a card of like as above, so below. So he has stars in his canopy. He's got moons on his shoulders. It's as above, so below energy. You also have these two sphinxes. You have a lot of mystery going on uh, in your reading, I would say, here, Scorpio. A Knight of Wands twice. You have this card here. You have the death card as well. Your card, right? The sun is coming up between the two pillars that are on the moon on the death card, which is also mysteries. Seven of cups, a lot of extra details, mysteries, right? So I do feel like it could be a mysterious time for you in the sense that you're not exactly sure what you're working towards. I'm gonna pull an extra row with this, um, this success card that was from your first reading. I'm just gonna move it up here next to this. Um, so we're gonna pull an extra row. I just wanna see, like, can we get more details on these mysteries or what's going on? Regardless, you know, Chariot, very good card. Uh, with the Death card, you have the uh, King of Cups. So Death card is your card, Scorpio. You're showing up in a very strong position when you show up as yourself. And the King of Cups is a card of, you know, um, it could also be you and it could also be success. Um, it's also a card of your emotions and controlling your emotions. Um, pretty much everyone over the past few weeks has been getting these messages of needing to be very careful of your emotions and like where you put your emotions, how you use your emotions. So I'd make sure to keep it positive at this time, especially with the magician. And with the nine of swords, you have the knight of cups, uh, knight in shining armor, really good card for love, number one, but also an amazing card for anything really. Knight of cups, he's kind of looking into that cup. He is imagining his future life and what he wants, what he wants to create. So I feel like the more you can dream, the better. But uh, where is this going, Scorpio? Uh, what, and can we get any details about these mysteries? No? <laughs> uh, the answer has been no for like the past several weeks for any time I ask a question, but Hermit is a mystery. It is a card of soul searching. 
having done some soul searching, it kind of says it's a rite of passage as well. So, you know, if you're experiencing mysteries in business or love, you're not sure what direction you're going in. It's kind of like you just have to go along for the ride. You have the emperor. Yeah, the emperor just wants you to take action as well. He's always ready to go. You see, he's got those that armor on underneath his cloak. Again, like I was saying, I you know, I'm pretty sure I said this to you recently. I'm definitely picking up on it in this reading as well, Scorpio. I just feel like there could be some like random opportunities that pop up for you in your life. And I feel like you need to start saying yes to things um, at this time. Normally, I tell people to say no, right? <laughs> but at this time, if I were you, I'd be saying yes to any opportunities that you kind of don't want to do, but maybe they look a little bit exciting, right? Um, I would be saying yes to those things. Could be like a date. It's like maybe you're kind of not sure, but maybe at the same time, it would be a lot of fun and you never know what it could lead to. So, you know, I feel like it's time to say yes. I feel like the emperor, he has the armor on under his cloak. He is always ready to go. He's ready for action at a moment's notice. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. It's like you have to do the work to see the result, right? So the Eight of Pentacles wants us to put the work in. I get tons of comments from people that say that claim that they want love, but they also tell me how they never go on dates and they always say no to everyone. I'm like, well, okay, you clearly don't want love <laughs> if you're not willing to put in the work, if you're not willing to do the work. And I've left that comment before. I've had plenty of people that say, well, everyone I meet is a jerk and you know, all this stuff. I'm like, that says more about you than it does about those, those people because it's like if you're only attracting jerks, there are plenty of nice people. I've met them. I know plenty of people that are married to very nice people. I know plenty of people that date very nice people. So it's like they exist. So what I would say here is it's like time to do the work with the eight of pentacles and you will get results same thing in business uh in work it's time to like put in remember what i was saying about the seven of pentacles i feel like this reading is more about that i feel like it's more about looking at everything you've done and realizing that you are way more prepared than you realize for success right and maybe there's some fears around success which is fine we all you know we all do that uh let's clarify with the Hermit, you have the King of Pentacles. Mm, you know, this is, I feel like this is what's inspiring you to action, actually. <laughs> I feel kind of good about this. King of Pentacles, like what popped into my head immediately when I pulled this card was kind of like, I feel like your fear at this time is things always being the same. It's like, sometimes I think, man, we, we get to a point where maybe we're like, you know, I'm 34 years old and I've only made it this far. I've only done X, Y, and Z. And I feel like that's a little bit scary for you is like saying, you know, is this my full potential? Uh, I feel like this is a good thing. I don't want to scare you with this. I don't think it's a bad thing either. Definitely not a criticism either. I feel like you're just saying to yourself, like you feel that there's more potential in all areas of your life. And I feel that King of Pentacles is you breaking free from that. I don't know, weird, but I like it. Um, with the Hermit, yeah, you have the five wands. Exactly like I said, you're gonna have to take action, but there's a little bit of resistance to the actions that you could be taking or you could be thinking that you wanna take with this energy. Uh, five wands card of learning, so I would do it. And with the Eight of Pentacles, you have the Five of Pentacles. Do not call attention to your weaknesses with the Five of Pentacles. I would also just say do the work. Five, you know, Eight of Pentacles is material success on the horizon, but it could be any success. It's kind of like saying you have to do the work now to get the success in the future. But um, this is a really good reading, Scorpio. I kind of like where this is going. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. And uh, definitely enjoy your week.